the situation remains unchanged on many fronts in Ukraine. Amid the heavy artillery duels, Ukrainian units are trying to advance in small groups while Russian forces repel the attacks. In the Kharkov region, Ukrainian units continued their attempts to break out towards Mykievka and Chervna-Nopopovka, but suffered heavy losses of about 170 servicemen. Russian forces also struck Ukrainian units and groups of foreign mercenaries in the Kupiansk region. The losses amounted to more than 110 militants. In the Kyrgyzstan region, artillery duels continue. The Ukrainian military attacks with small forces up to company in strength, in the range of 80 to 250 men per attack. The northern front lines, where the Ukrainians are trying to advance on Bidislav, remain the main battlefield in the region. On November 1st, the deputy head of the governor of the Kyrgyzstan region claimed that Ukraine lost about 70 servicemen in the recent attempted offensive in the area. Ukrainian attacks on the western front lines of the region were also unsuccessful. Meanwhile, the evacuation of civilians to the eastern bank of the Dnieper River continues. The evacuation zone was expanded to 15 kilometers extending from the eastern bank. People are leaving a number of cities on the eastern bank, including Kakovka, Novaya Kakovka, and Golaya Pristin. The decision was taken due to the risk of Ukrainian attacks on the Kohovskaya Dam and the danger of flooding of residential areas. The evacuation will also allow the Russian military to create a layered defense along the river. So far, Russian servicemen have not left their positions on the front lines. The Ukrainians attempted a large-scale offensive immediately after the evacuation was announced, but suffered heavy losses. Now they are acting more cautiously and are not rushing to attack despite the Russian signals on their alleged retreat across the Dnieper River. Meanwhile, Russian troops went on the offensive in the Donbass. On the western outskirts of Donetsk, Russian-led forces are driving Ukrainian units out of Mariinka. They advanced on the northern outskirts of the town and took control of the local school number no. 3, and are also advancing in the area of Drozhby Avenue in the center of the settlement. To the south, the Russian military launched an assault on Novomithailovka and may soon cut off the road leading to Uglidar. At the same time, Russian forces are approaching Uglidar from the southern outskirts. More than half of the village of Pavlovka is under Russian control, including the crushing at the Klashelgok River. Under Ukrainian artillery fire from Uglidar, the Russians continue the mop-up operation in the village. In the case of a further advance by Russian forces, the Ukrainian grouping in Uglidar risks being surrounded and cut off from their supply lines. In this case, they will be forces to fight on the streets of the besieged city or forced to flee cross-country from Russian artillery.